As Kim Brown looks over her 21 years of missionary service in Thailand, she sees time after time when she has been surprised by God. Getting deeply involved with the need of the tribal communities has led to ministries to those on the margins of Thai society. As we were working with AIDS education, we began to get referrals of people who were dying of AIDS in their villages. And so we began a project of home care and care of orphans and helping families know how to plan for the care of orphans after the parents die. And as we were doing this, we were visiting families in hospitals, and we began to know the social workers at the hospital who came to us and said, you know, we're getting young women from brothels who were sold, They're, they might be 14, 17, 19 years old now. They were sold when they were 10 or 11. They have full-blown AIDS. They were sold from other countries, so they have no homes or communities here, and we have no place for them to go. They're dying on the streets, basically. We knew that this was a problem and had been praying about it for about four years. I didn't feel God was calling us. We got a, a check from $200 from a church in America on the same day and just thought, okay, God's not only bringing us a problem we've been praying about, but is bringing us the resources also. Very plainly, I see lives transformed by God's love. God's there first. God's there where nobody else is there. We had two little girls that just lost their parents within a month. And they said to, to me, you know, we have nobody. We have nobody, but we have God. We have us and we have God. And God was there way before we ever knew about these girls. And I think in, in many ways, God calls us to be places where nobody else is, but he, it always amazes me that he was there first.